Often in programming, it's important to be able to calculate totals and display subtotals on the screen. For your assignment, you're going to create a program that asks the user how many rooms they want steam cleaned, and you'll calculate the square footage of each room, add them up, multiply them by 25 cents per square foot, and that's your program. I don't want to show you exactly one that you're going to do, but I want to show you something similar to explain to you how it's done. In my program, you're going, the character is going to ask you how many weeks you'd like to calculate your average miles per gallon for. And then she will get the miles of miles driven and the gallons of gas bought that week. So let's ta walk through each line of code. The first thing is I ask how many weeks and my value for that is how many. That's my variable name. It's important to make this number an integer because you're only going to do counting a for loop with whole numbers. So I will do a for loop which is a count for integer i we always that represents the word integer equals 0 while i is less than n which is set to how many i plus plus which means it will step through this loop for every week that we put in. Then we have a double for gallons because the double allows an integer so you could have 4.3 gallons 12.2 because you often don't buy gallons in whole numbers. Um, miles driven again it would allow you to have 230.5 miles. Then we have miles per this is my miles per gallon that I will calculate. Then I have a double of total gallons. This will accumulate and add the gallons each time we go through. Total miles will accumulate the total miles. She introduces the program by saying it is valuable to track what your average miles per gallon is each week and I have it showing on the screen for a duration of two seconds. Then she gets from the user how many weeks would you like to track. That tells us how, how long our loop is supposed to be. To do a loop, you just bring in your count, and I only have one integer. It has to be an integer. It's how many, and then it would go in here. So that's how I created that statement. So once I'm into the loop, and it will execute as many times as I tell it to, I set gallons equal to how many gallons of gas, miles, how many miles did you drive, and my calculation is miles per equals miles driven divided by gallons, which gives me my miles per gallon. Then I have my character Jenny say on the screen, for this week your average miles per gallon was, and display miles per for two seconds. Then my total gallons becomes equal to total gallons, so the first time that's set to zero because I initialize everything to zero plus gallons. So the second time it comes through, whatever we put in for the first week, it will be added to that. So we'll get it totaled. For total miles, again, we're adding the miles driven that week to our total miles that already exist to give us the total miles. After we're done with that, we will enter the loop, or end the loop, and miles per gallon will equal total miles divided by total gallons, and then when that gives us the average across all of the weeks. So this should give you a good example of how to do your program. Let's see it in action. Let's track three weeks. So we'll say we bought 10 gallons of gas the first week and drove 340 miles. Makes sense. And this week we brought, bought seven gallons of gas and we drove 234 miles. And then the last week we bought 12 gallons of gas and we drove 400 miles. And that gives you the total average for overall three weeks. So that gives you a simple example of how to accumulate totals. I'll also take a picture of the code and put it up in this week's lecture.